Happy holidays everyone and welcome to episode 3 of Max vs Food's Christmas mini-series or as we like to call it, Maximus. I absolutely love Starbucks so I thought I'd take on their entire festive menu. We've got paninis, we've got baked goods, we've got other goods but not only that, I've gone for all their festive drinks as well. I've never done a drinks food challenge before so, oh a drinks food challenge, doesn't really make sense but you know, food and drink before, never done that before so it's going to be really fun. I'm really excited for this. I think this is over 7,000 calories. Put up a calorie count on the screen now. But yeah, not a speed change. Just gonna enjoy it. Just gonna do a review. Five. What do I go for first? Four. Three. Two. One. Let's eat. All right, I think I'm gonna go for this. This is a festive panini. Hey everyone, welcome to the third episode of Max vs Food's Christmas mini-series. Mmm. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of me commenting as I'm eating the food, so I'm going to keep the commentary to a minimum today, but I all wanted to ask you guys how are you liking the Christmas mini-series, or as I'm calling it, Maximus. Comment down below. It's really nice actually, it tastes like meat. It just tastes like stuffing, the stuffing's really good. It's really nice. I've got hot chocolate, and I've got eggnog latte. Which one do I go for first? Eggnog. Ooh, that's really sweet. Mmm. Makes this go down really easy. It's weird to have like a food challenge which is like a drinking food challenge. That's really nice. That's really, really sweet, but really, really nice. Okay, I'm gonna move on to this because I think this is gonna be the best thing that is gonna be semi warm. So, this is the toasty to be thankful for, I believe. Toasty to be thankful for. It looks like it's got cranberries on the top, it's got cheese. Let's see. Mm. I usually take out most of me crunching the food, but let me know if you like the ASMR type of vibe, and I can do that in more episodes coming up. So, the toasty to be thankful for is filled with shredded ham hock, turkey breast, cranberry sauce, potato, cabbage, sprout, and leek hash and a sourdough bloomer topped with cheesy sauce and cranberries. Mm. It's got a lot to it. It's really funny to have the um, like potatoes in it and like kind of, is it sprouts as well? It's kind of cool. Um, yeah, really, it's really nice. I really like ham hock. Sorry about the random zooming in there. Our cameras have a little bit of a tendency to do that. So this, is the festive feast panini. Another quick question for you guys. Do you like the close-ups of the food shots like this, especially for these review type menu challenges? Comment down below. The festive feast panini is filled with turkey breast, smoked bacon, mature cheddar, cheese, cranberry gravy and pork, sage and onion stuffing, and a rustic ciabatta roll. And what about Laura giving you guys all the detail of the food I'm eating? Is that what you guys want to hear? And I don't know how much to drink, because I usually don't drink in a food challenge. I usually try to limit the drinks, but they're part of the food chain, so I feel like I should be drinking more. You're gonna have to watch the end, but those drinks prove to be my undoing with this challenge. This is the Blitzen's Blue Cheese and Chutney Toasty. Mmm. This actually looks really good. Blue cheese, eh? <laughs> there. See that? <laughs> yeah, there's not much in it, to be honest. Yeah? Yeah, take okay. a look. Is it literally just blue cheese? I think so. Mmm. Oh wow, that's really blue cheesy though. That's nice. So this is filled with a sharp Stilton crumb and an apple chutney with cheesy sauce and cranberry top bread. Mmm. It's the Stilton. The Stilton's really, really nice with this one. I really like the topping. It's really crunchy on top. Um, and with the grilled cheese, it's good. The, uh, quite, the cranberries do add to it a little bit, but not Massively, a little bit of sweetness, but it's good. I kind of wish this one had had the meat in it as well. This would make it really nice. Cheese there. Ultimate test though, does the cheese go well with eggnog? Come on. I think I'm gonna go for this. This one looks the most suspect. This is like a plant-based kind of burger. You can see there. I'm gonna try and open that up as well. So we're not gonna look the most appetizing. Nope, it, ooh, as it falls off. Does not look appetizing at all. Not really, but it's fake vegan stuff and I like vegan stuff. Give it a try. I think this is an attempt at their festive vegan breakfast sandwich. Ooh, it's got like Dijon in it. 
It's called the Very Merry Beyond Meat Sandwich. It's a Beyond Meat pea protein patty, cranberry chutney, vegan Dijon mustard mayo, sliced tomatoes, and a slice of coconut oil alternative to cheese <laughs> and a crusty Vienna roll. The roll's pretty crusty, but this is actually really tasty. I feel like because it's packed in, it's really tasty. The tomato really adds to it as well. This is good. <sighs> so eggnog down. That was good. It got really sweet at the end. I'm not such a fan. Warm kind of coffee place. So I have to. That's why I got lots of cold coffee ones. So this is. Tis the season <laughs> turkey sandwich. This looks good though. This looks really good. It might not be my favorite one, but it looks really good anyway. So let's see. Love a Christmas sandwich. Right, so this is the Tis the Season turkey sandwich filled with turkey breast, smoked bacon, pork and onion stuffing, cranberry chutney, and mayo and malted bread. This is a hot chocolate fudge brownie. Unfortunately, you can't really see it. Mmm, I mean, it should be a bit warmer, but that's really nice. Um, again, incredibly sweet. A little bit more caramel, like caramel, salted caramel more than just a Rain, plain, regular um, hot chocolate. Hesitant about all the liquids. Really gonna be interesting to see. But I'm feeling great so far. All the savory items done. I'm really looking forward to this. This is the s'mores one. So this is the chocolate and orange s'mores toasty fruit loaf with a luxurious filling of marshmallows, chocolate, orange sauce, and milk chocolate chunks. Oh. It tastes amazing. <laughs> I really like that it's like really crunchy. The fruit bread is really good. It's just, it's got a lot of chocolate in it. Damn, I'm kind of happy because they were like warmish and really sweet. And now I've got even more sweet stuff to do. What do I go for first? Well, you've got four drinks there still. Oh my god, yeah. Six oh, I items. forgot about this one. Yeah. <sighs> okay. I don't think I'm going to like this one. All right, yeah. we'll do it. Oh, these are all sweet. Maybe I'll try this one. Let's see. This is a clover winter warmer. It's got grape, pomegranate, ginger, cardamom, and clove. Let's see how well this goes down. Yeah, it's quite nice. I'm gonna save this off to the side because I think this might be a really good flavor contrast to everything that's really, really sweet. Okay, I'm gonna do some rearranging. What do I go for? I think one of these because they might not be that interesting. So that was South Pole Sam. Shortbread cookie was good, it was all right. Just a decent shortbread cookie with a bit of Smarties on it. Now. I think I'm gonna go for the caramel waffle frappuccino, just because, I don't know. <laughs> I fancy this one. All right, I kinda had to put some more cream on it myself because the cream kinda melted a bit and it's melting already, so see how well this goes. Mmm, this is really nice. The caramel, definitely nice. Again, uber sweet. I'm gonna get such a sugar rush. I'm really looking forward to this, so I might save those. A red velvet cake. Really, really flaky. So, if it's flaky, that's probably a good thing. Mmm, it's not so sweet. That's nice. It's like, yeah, actually, like a nice red velvet, not like uber sweet. It's quite dense without the frosting on top. I'm not gonna put this torture down. Hey, 
gonna get a spoon to spoon out this cream. Another one down. That is the toffee nut latte cupcake. Ooh, latte. So I eat the bottom. How do you eat your cupcakes? Ooh. It's really crumbly. Definitely taste the toffee. Oh, it's got like a, just like a toffee middle. Gonna go on to the gingerbread ice latte. It tastes pretty decent. I don't quite, I get a little bit of the gingerbread. It tastes quite like fake sugary though. I quite like that, but Laura doesn't like that at all. It's good though. All right, I'm gonna go on to the brownie now. Dense though. I'm really conscious I have to drink a lot of the drinks because I'm getting it really full. It'd be cool if you could do it all under 30 minutes. But... I will do it in under 30 minutes. Don't worry. South Pole, polar bear time. North Pole. North Pole? North Pole. Polar bear time. North Pole nap. Short North Pole nap. Okay, cool. I'm sure it's going to taste quite similar. Although his nose is so sweet off the side. White chocolate is better, it tastes nicer. Shortbread's pretty nice, there's just so much coating on it though. I know you said you'd do it under 30 minutes, but you're gonna need to hurry up. Yeah? Yeah, 26, 30, that's down. I'm really looking forward to this, although I am quite full now from the drinks. Sugar is really starting to hit me. Or it's a caffeine. Either way, I'm starting to feel a bit. Ooh. All right. This looks really good. I'm really excited. I kind of. This best be good. This is the cranberry cheesecake muffin. The cheesecake thing is really good. It's really, really nice. It's like a whole cheese, yeah, it's like cheesecake filling in the middle. It's all really soft though, so like the muffin is actually really soft as well, but the cranberries really help. Very nice. I'm gonna leave it here, guys. 28 minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tune in next Thursday for an epic Santa versus Santa food chat. It's amazing, trust me. Dumb. Oh, I'm actually really full, but because of the liquids, not because of the food. Oh, no, oh, shit, I forgot about this. Okay, this is now gonna get hard. Target. Hold on. Oh. 28.55. No way am I gonna be able to do this in a minute. You can do it in a minute. What is it? Toffee nut. Oh. Oh, that's not fun at the end. I had a taste though. That's, oh, God, I don't know. Oh, too many liquids. All right, that was fun until right at the end where it's now not fun. That is way too many liquids. I'm gonna have to lie down. Um, I hope you enjoyed episode three of Max vs. Foods Christmas mini series, AKA Maximus. Catch you in episode four where I don't know what it's gonna be. I might like, got a really big sugar high and that was way too many liquids. Ugh. All right, catch you on the next one. All right, peace out. Bye. Oh, oh that's God. way too much. Liquid. Oh, Max, that was amazing. You did it under 30 minutes. Very good. I think it's a bit ironic, though, uh, Mr. Ah, oh, I've done so many food challenges. I can definitely do a chugging challenge. <laughs> no, that was way too much. I need to, I don't know what I need to do. Just love Starbucks, man. <laughs> so this is, the turkey seat. Yeah? What? Huh? Read, read it. <laughs> you were like. I was this... gonna take it from you. Okay. okay, this is the turkey season. This is the. 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 <laughs> this is why I was gonna take it from you. <laughs> Tis the season turkey sandwich. Smoked bacon, pork, onion, uh, stuffed with cranberry chutney uh, on mayo. Yeah, maybe you can take that again. Yeah. <laughs>